It's 11 trivia questions on movie quotes written by my friend Manny Cortez. This is Trivia with Buds. What it be and welcome to another episode of the Trivia with Buds podcast. I'm your host, Ryan Buds. Thanks for checking out my show. If you like trivia, you're in the right place because I have done this 750 plus times. And if there's a certain topic of trivia you're looking to listen to or play along with or use at your own trivia night, you have come to the right place place. Today's episode is all about random movie quotes written by my friend Manny Cortez, who is a local trivia player at a few places like R.T. Rogers Brewing Company in Sierra Madre, California, where I host trivia every single Thursday from 8 to 10 p.m. If I'm not personally there, it's my good friend Cam Molidor or my wife Ashley in my place, and they are great hosts as well. Manny's not just a trivia player. He is a writer, and he wrote some really good questions. So we're going to read these quotes, and you're going to tell me what movie they're from. Before we dive into the fun of today's episode, we do have to comment yesterday on the loss uh, of Kobe Bryant and his daughter and all those people on that helicopter and how tragic that was. Uh, It's something that I think the world probably can't stop thinking about for the last 24 hours. I know I haven't been able to, and I'm not a huge sports fan or a Lakers fan or even really a Kobe Bryant fan but when I heard that news and uh, couldn't believe it and then the next part where you're like oh his daughter was on it oh and there were seven other people it's just one of those things that you really have to think about and and and, and ponder over what that would be like to uh, go through something like that whether you're famous or not and uh, I can tell you yesterday personally just as a, like a personal story when I heard that stuff I had gotten out of church and I was getting ready to go to uh, host some bingo. I had two bingo events yesterday and I was just going to stay out in between the two bingo events to work on some stuff for the week, all the trivia and getting the podcast ready and stuff like that. And I saw that his daughter died, his 13 year old daughter. And I'm like, I, I gotta go see my daughter. I gotta go see my son and go back home. So I took that time that I was supposed to be working on stuff and I just shot home and I said, hey, what do you want to do? And she said, let's play jewelry store. And we played jewelry store for an hour. Uh, and then I played with wrestling figures with my son uh, mixed in with that. And uh, I don't know what else you can do in a situation like that. But I just wanted to kind of share how I took that news and how I'm sure a lot of people took that news yesterday. Uh, we're going to do some movie quotes from Manny Cortez. Thank you, Manny, for writing these. We're going to jump into 12 questions on random movie quotes right now. Here we go. All right, here we go, guys. We have random movie quotes trivia from Manny Cortez. I'll give you the quote. You tell me what movie it's from. Question number one. I've come here to chew bubblegum and kick ass, and I'm all out of bubblegum. Question number one. I have come here to chew bubblegum and kick ass, and I'm all out of bubblegum. Number one. Question number two, you are lying. I never hit you. You are tearing me apart, Lisa. Number two, you are lying. I never hit you. You are tearing me apart, Lisa. Number two. Question number three, they're coming to get you, Barbara. Number three, what movie is that from? They're coming to get you, Barbara. Number three. Question number four. You've got to ask yourself one question. Do I feel lucky? Well, do you punk? Number four, you've got to ask yourself one question. Do I feel lucky? Well, do you punk? Number four. Question number five is three. Simple words, pain don't hurt. Number five, pain don't hurt. That's number five. Question number six, there's no crying in baseball. What movie is that from? Number six, there's no crying in baseball. Number six. Number seven, I want you to hit me as hard as you can. Number seven, I want you to hit me as hard as you can. Number seven. Question number eight, my wife. 
And then in parentheses, he put, read it like my wife, number eight. So that's number eight, my wife, number eight. Number nine, You've Got Red on You. Number nine, You've Got Red on You. What movie is that quote from? Number nine, You've Got Red on You. Question number 10, I have nipples, Greg. Could you milk me? Number 10, I have nipples, Greg. Could you milk me? What movie is that from? Number 10. And number 11, You had my curiosity, but now you have my attention. You had my curiosity, but now you have my attention. And number 12, your last question of today's quiz. Man, there's not a year that goes by. Not a year that I don't read about some escalator accident involving some bastard kid that could have easily been avoided had some parent, I don't care which one, but some parent condition him to fear and respect the escalator. That's like your two-point bonus question. If you can figure out that one, that's number 12. Those are your 12 movie quote questions from Manny Cortez. That was kind of a tongue twister. We'll be right back in just a second with those 12 answers. We're back with the answers to movie quote trivia from Manny Cortez. Let's see how you did on this quiz. Question number one, I have come here to chew bubblegum and kick ass, and I'm all out of bubblegum, was, of course, from the great action movie They Live. John Carpenter, Roddy Piper, and the whole crew, number one, They Live. Question number two was The Room. You are lying. I never hit you. You are tearing me apart, Lisa. I don't know if I'm saying that right. I've only seen it once. And that's enough. Number two was The Room. Number three, they're coming to get you, Barbara. That was Night of the Living Dead, right at the beginning, when her brother, I think it's her brother, or maybe her boyfriend, I think it's her brother, uh, the guy with the glasses, gets mauled by the zombies. Number three, Night of the Living Dead. Number four, you've got to ask yourself one question. Do I feel lucky? Well, do you punk? That's Dirty Harry. Number four, Clint Eastwood, Dirty Harry. Number five, pain don't hurt. Classic Patrick Swayze quote from Roadhouse, pain don't hurt. Number six, a league of their own. There's no crying in baseball was a league of their own. Great film. Number seven, I want you to hit me as hard as you can was Fight Club with Ed Norton and Brad Pitt. And number seven, no, that was number seven. Number eight, my wife, my wife, that was, of course, (laughs) Borat. And the full subtitle, if you knew it, Cultural Learnings of America, for make benefit glorious nation of kazakhstan that was borat number eight number nine you've got red on you was shawn of the dead that was the only one i was extremely uh quizzical on i did not know that one i was like what could that be something with blood some kind of zombie movie maybe but i couldn't think of shawn of the dead number nine number ten i've got nipples greg could you milk me meet the parents love that film saw it in high school i think it still holds up meet the parents and number 11 you had my curiosity but now you have my attention is Django Unchained. That was another tricky one. Uh, Django Unchained. And number 12 is Mall Rats. That's the escalator business. There's not a year that goes by where uh, some kid could have easily been avoided uh, his death if some parent, I don't care which one, but some parent conditioned him to fear and respect the escalator. Mall Rats. I did get that one. I used to watch that movie on repeat like sixth to eighth grade. Loved it, loved it, loved it. And it's time for the question of the day, brought to you by my friends at Funky Monkey Designs. You can check out all their printing services and products at fmdesignsinc.com. They just helped me out with uh, t-shirts, koozies, and bottle openers for this big event I did in Upland, California called the Brews and Bros Festival. And I gave out all three of those things and made a bunch of new contacts because of some great work done by Funky Monkey. So thank you, everybody, over at that print shop. Their question of the day is, what men's hair product was advertised with the slogan, a little dab will do ya? little dab will do ya. If you know the answer, tweet it to me at Ryan Buds on Twitter or email RyanBuds at gmail.com to be eligible for a prize. Yesterday's question of the day answer was James Gandolfini for the actor who played Tony Soprano. And your trivia team name of today is Peekaboo Radley. That's right, Peekaboo and Boo Radley from To Kill a Mockingbird makes a great trivia team name name you could use it next time you play thank you guys so much for listening to the show thanks for watching the show on youtube and we'll see you tomorrow for more trivia with buds cheers